there was the green that went under those two washers and the o-ring like this I'll just put them all together in this sequence So yeah, there's your sequence. Okay, got that, that, that. All right, now, okay, here's. Oh, we gotta be able to get the belt off. fairly yep. straightforward. Do you have ultrasonics here? The ultrasonic cleaners? Uh, yeah, up front we do. Yeah, no, I would I would definitely clean all this. You, what kind of solvents do you use? I, I haven't ever used the thing, so I don't oh, know. Oh man, this kind in? of stuff we clean all the time. I have some, uh, when Brian comes back, he's usually doing the most on that and what we're using currently. And I may have a lot of extra solvent, but definitely that's the way to clean this stuff because you get it super clean. Does that have an orientation that you have in your hand? Yeah, I pulled it out this way. So I'm looking. It looks pretty symmetrical. Yeah, the hole looks like it's in the center. And that hole, that, that's the through hole, is it? Yeah, there's a tiny, to me this looks symmetrical. Is that a through hole? Yeah, it starts out wide. I can't with my, hmm. yeah, there's, yeah. Okay. So, do you have a certain amount of oil coming through that? Because, huh. Yeah, there's a lot of, a lot of thought. <laughs> yeah. That went into this. That was inside that, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of cool the way that works that you have them as, as two clusters and um, yeah it's really good this is getting all taken apart and cleaned and then checking the see I did change all the filters and everything back there did I give you an extra filter did I have an extra filter so at some point through this process maybe taking out all the oil looking at it and then replenishing it yeah we're just replacing it yeah and Filter is fairly standard. Okay, and now we've got one more that went behind this. Is that rubber or metal? Metal. So, how did this go? So that was on the front, the little one was on the back, the wider one was on the front. 